We have made it to Hawaii. We're on Big Island. We have a fun day in store where we're going to go explore the North Island. We're gonna go and see some manta rays at the end of the day. But first off, this is technically day three of our trip. Let's flash back to day one. Day one started on Sunday when we drove to the Tampa airport and took our first connecting flight to Miami. From there, we got some breakfast in the American Express Lounge, which here's a sped up tour of the facilities if you're curious. We went to board our plane and they wrecked us, yeah. We arrived 15 minutes prior to departure and they had already closed the door and everyone left the gate. We went and rebooked our flights, which luckily we did not have to pay for. And now we're going to leave for Monday for Hawaii. And as you can see, I'm not too pleased, but now we got to figure out something to do. We drove around downtown, which this actually was my first time in Miami, which I'll also be back in December for a Dolphins game as well as a Miami Heat game. But that's not the point of this trip. Tonight, we have an evening event. It's going to be a sunset cruise. We boarded the boat and took off. Here's a clip of them raising the sail on the boat which is really cool there were several great views of the miami skyline we didn't really expect it to be this good but with the sunset in the background and the miami skyline it honestly was beautiful staying in a night in miami honestly wasn't something we had planned on and really wanted to do but we did make the most of it we met some really great people on the cruise including actually the ceo of mr pretzel which is primarily based in canada their main competitor is auntie Anne's. if you know if you've been to a u.s mall you probably know what auntie Anne's is he actually actually recommended an Italian restaurant which he was going to dinner which is a name that I will butcher right now Fratelli La Bufala definitely butcher that but this place was amazing we had some appetizers like I said he was going to be there he actually ended up buying us some wine which you see us enjoying in this clip we had a great dinner and overall a really great an end to our Miami day which we did not expect but after a long day we went to bed and we were up bright and early to get onto our flight we ended up having a connecting flight in my in Phoenix, which you see us racing through the terminal as we definitely weren't missing another flight. And then here we are boarding the plane. Look, here's my wife and I, which you'll see I quickly pass out and go to bed as this is a six hour flight. After waking up, I took a cool video of the open ocean as we're obviously flying over the ocean for the majority of this flight. We have finally made it to Hawaii. You see the island kind of coming into the into the picture. And then here's us landing at their airport, which is much different from any airport I've ever been to. A cool part of it is that you get to walk directly off the plane onto the tarmac. Here I am just excited to finally be getting off of this plane as we've been traveling for the past two days. Just finally happy to be in Hawaii. We went to Big Island. That's where we are, but we'll talk about that later on. We met some friends who flew in on different flights from Chicago and went to get some local food at their local McDonald's. Not sure if you've ever heard of it. Honestly, we just went because we wanted to try some unique items, which they didn't end up having, so it was kind of a waste of our time. We stopped at some beaches. This one had a pretty cool sign. And then we saw some cool tide pools, which you saw some really cool sea urchins in, as well as some fish, which I don't think it caught on camera. But really cool tide pools. Here's some waves crashing onto the beach. It's beautiful here on Big Island. One of the parts I didn't expect was how much of the West Island is actually just cooled off lava that you're walking on. You can see all of this that I'm walking on right now. You'll see plenty more videos of black rocks or cooled lava throughout the rest of the video. It's kind of how the, the this side of the island was built. They don't get a ton of rainfall over here. So kind of just walking on it the majority of the time. We grabbed some drinks and some dinner went to bed this is day three of our hawaii tour we're gonna explore the north island like i said go see some manta rays let's get into it we snagged some breakfast drove around hawaii saw plenty of more black lava rocks a cool part of big island honestly that we really loved was the change of scenery you'll see a ton of these black ro lava rocks and then the next moment there's tons of greenery trees grass vegetation as you get more and more north and as we go more and more west you'll see that sort of becomes more green because they get a lot more water than this side of the island does one of our first stops on day three was actually the first king of Hawaii's fortress. This was the place where the Hawaiian Islands were first unified as one. This is a really big part of Hawaiian history and I'm honestly not doing it justice with all the history behind it, but if you are ever in Hawaii Big Island, you definitely need to check it out. We wanted to do it as one of our first things on the tour. After that, we drove around a little bit more and here's me trying some jackfruit. It's a jackfruit. We're tasting. I don't know. Uh, very interesting. I'll leave this for the next verse. I won't lie to you, the jackfruit wasn't really that good, but we kept driving up the mountains through the hillside. As you can see, the views are gorgeous. We stopped at the gas station, picked up a spam usabi roll, which is like sushi, but with spam. I thought it was pretty solid, and you can tell my wife didn't really like it a whole lot, but we got some lychee candy as well, and really this trip, we were just trying to experience as much of the Hawaiian culture as we could, so we tried to just stop and try a bunch of different things. We stopped at a really cool lookout, and then we stopped at a gas station and tried some cool foods, and now about 3,500 feet 
feet in elevation all the way down to the coast below. We have some cool things. There's also a volcano right there behind me. It's gorgeous up here. The kind of change in elevation is really cool and the change of landscape. You see dry all the way down closer to the water and you get up and higher and higher you see a lot of greenery. So let's keep adventuring. This is me snorkeling. I don't really know what to talk about during this portion but we found a really cool spot and great beach to stop at and snorkel. There's several different beaches that well there's tons of beaches around the island that you can get on get in the sand but also but just get reuse your snorkel equipment to go in the water. There's several places you can rent the equipment but we chose to buy it just because we figured we would be snorkeling here given we are here for you know seven or eight days. So we bought it, but we plan on snorkeling more days throughout the trip. Right off the beach, I mean, you can see all the fish swimming with you. I mean, you saw me just walk into the water and just dive right in, and I see all these different fish. And hopefully they came out well on the GoPro. But look, there's cool coral fish, sea urchins as well, which I won't lie to you. The sea urchins are a tad sketchy when you're just looking down and you don't obviously want to step on a sea urchin. So... Be a little bit careful if you want to wear some shoes, I don't blame you. I ended up wearing some shoes for the future snorkeling experiences, but all six of us were swimming around the rocks, looking at all the colorful fish. Like I said, hopefully the GoPro footage shows the fish we saw and just how beautiful it was. Here's a clip of my wife swimming underneath me. Don't really know if this came out well, but overall it was just really cool. The snorkel in the Hawaiian water, the Pacific Ocean. It wasn't honestly too cold, so if you're curious if it's like super freezing, it actually wasn't. We're from Tampa Bay, so we're used to like 100 degree water in the Gulf of Mexico but the water was probably around 78 to 80 degrees so still pretty good not you know as cold as it probably could get but uh, it was really really a, just a great time to snorkel there we stopped at a second beach after heading back to the resort this was more of you know a relaxed normal beach that you would expect from Hawaii not you know a big snorkeling one and then after that we're heading up to some manta rays. After stopping at another beach, we are back at the resort overlooking the pool, which we stopped in the hot tub for a minute, looking at the sunset, but we still have our manta ray tour in a little bit. Hopefully you've been enjoying this video. Like I said, the next week we'll have another Hawaii video. I have no idea what we're gonna do, but planning on a helicopter tour, planning on seeing some volcanoes and some flowing lava and a bunch of other things. So if you haven't hit that subscribe button, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button, drop a like if you haven't. On a more somber note, I do wanna talk about something that has been weighing on my heart and everyone that we're traveling with's heart. If you didn't know, we were originally scheduled to go to Maui, which if you don't know anything about Maui, they had a devastating fire last month that killed thousands, thousands of people lost everything. And unfortunately our plans had to be rescheduled to Big Island, but we still wanna give back to those people that are in need and need of that money. And so we already are going to donate some money regardless, but we also wanna donate something on behalf of this channel. So if you hit that subscribe and we're donating 10 cents for every new subscriber we gain in September, we've already gained over 400. So we'll donate for those people, but subscribe, we'll donate 10 cents and we'll tally it up at the end of the month and donate to those people. But let's get back to some more fun things. I'll see you in the next clip. So we stopped at a Costco, which I didn't honestly know they had in Hawaii. I got myself a hot dog and ice cream, my usual combo. But next up is what I would argue to be the coolest part of this video and probably our whole trip, potentially. It is time to go see some manta rays. After a short three minute boat ride, you pull up to a guy floating in the water next to a surfboard with a light pointing into the water. Now the point of this light is to attract all the plankton for the manta rays to eat. It kind of looks a little weird when you're pulling up on it, just swimming off the boat to it. But as you'll see in all of these videos, there's tons of plankton for these manta rays to eat. Honestly, they run into you a bunch and they kind of get stuck on your body. You kind of have to shoo them off because some of them are running into you. But like you hold tight onto the ropes surrounding the surfboard. I think there was eight of us, eight, nine of us holding onto the same surfboard at the same time just kind of floating there the whole point of this is you bring a noodle in and you just kind of float like in a superman pose but look these creatures are majestic i kind of want to just let the footage do the talking as they do their barrel rolls as they scoop up as much plankton as they can now if you are scared of them they don't have any teeth so they're not going to eat you they can't even fit you into their mouths if they wanted to but one uh, you know it was just a really cool opportunity one of the key things that they want to make note is that you can't touch them now they are going to get really close to you as you can see from these videos and they do bump into you on occasion but you can't go out there and touch them apparently our skin oils interact negative negatively with them so that's why you don't that's why you're told to just hold onto the rope and just kind of sit in a superman pose and watch them go underneath you just barrel rolling over and over and over again and these creatures Creatures are huge, like 15 feet in wingspan, maybe even bigger than that. Honestly, this this was probably the coolest thing. One of the coolest things we've done, I've ever done in my life. Watching these creatures in the open ocean was just majestic. And this is me saying this after the fact, because I was a little nervous going into this. I mean, you tell me, uh, hey, you're going to swim. It's going to be 9 p.m. It's going to be dark out because these are nocturnal creatures. That's when you can see them best. 
and you're gonna go out in the open ocean just gonna lay there yeah I mean it's <laughs> it's a little scary a little frightening but if you are scared and maybe you're like oh you're on the fence of doing it look let me tell you you need to do it uh, it was once you after a minute or two you're not worried about the water the water was 78 to 80 degrees you can have a wetsuit too if you want one we didn't end up needing one because the water was warm enough but at the end of the day this was awesome you you won't get the nerves will go right away you'll just see these creatures just going up underneath you and you'll be with hopefully some friends and family at the same time and you can all experience it at the same and like i said they are harmless they don't have teeth they aren't barbed like a normal stingray that might sting you. They don't have any of that stuff. They're just peaceful creatures just trying to eat some dang, uh, dang plankton. So they're, they're harmless, beautiful creatures. If you ever get the chance to dive with them, do it. And I'm just telling you, do it at night. That's the once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. We were in the water for about 25 minutes. I can't fit all that footage into this video, but look, it was awesome. And if you're ever in Hawaii, please, please, please swim with the manta rays. You will not regret it. We got some more cool things planned during this trip, but it's going to be very difficult to top this activity. Swimming with the manta rays was, like I said, one of a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this manta rays as much as I did. Hopefully, the GoPros did a great job of showcasing all the footage footage and how gorgeous these creatures are but let's wrap up this video and we have made it back home after the manta ray boy it was a long day it is past midnight and I'm obviously used to the east coast but either way the manta rays was awesome hopefully you like those videos from the gopro about to head off to bed but we got some work to do for the call on our shot channel no days off but i appreciate you guys for tuning in hit that subscribe button drop a like more videos popping up on the screen next week more hawaii footage we got a lot of cool things planned stay tuned for that we'll see you guys next week peace